If you're struggling with TNJ pain like I have been, I'm going to show you how you can use this massage gun to relieve pain and tension. Before we start, please check with your doctor before using a massage gun for any purpose. If you have temporomandibular joint dysfunction, it's not just about what's happening at the actual joint. There's probably issues in terms of your posture and tension in your muscles. So we're going to work on some of those related ones as well, because if you don't relieve the tension at the lower parts, then you're always going to have that tension at the top as well. So we're going to work on four sections, starting with the upper traps, that diamond shaped muscle that you've got on your back. We're going to start around the mid traps and then work our way to the upper traps with this. Now for the larger muscle groups, I prefer to do this with the higher speed and you're gonna bring it around. Each of these sections you're gonna to try to do for about 30 seconds and then move on to the other side as well. I'm just gonna show you one side. So this is the upper part to loosen things up. And that really takes that tension off the shoulders that a lot of us have from sitting at our desks. The next muscle we're going to deal with is the sternocleidomastoid. So that is coming from behind your ear and it can refer pain behind the ear and into your cheek. Everything's just kind of clenching in. Make sure you keep this around the backside and just ease it down. You want to avoid going to the front of the neck. Very delicate around there. Whatever you're doing with the massage gun, you want to avoid the bony areas. That means your clavicle, your collarbone around here, and anything that's really bony. That's why we're not directly going to hit the head, although I've seen that some people do that. It can be quite painful and perhaps a little dangerous. Now we're going to move in on the suboccipital muscles, which is a group of four muscles that are pretty much at the base of your skull. There's two bony prominences at the back. And if you have TMJ pain, it's likely quite sore there. So you want to go gently just underneath the bony area rather than going right on the bone. So I'm just going to move around so you can see this. So you don't want to go into the center of the spine and you can do about 30 seconds on one side and then switch over to the other side. What I really like about this Bob and Brad massage gun is that it's a mini version, so it's easy to take wherever. It's also very easy to handle. I found a lot of massage guns are quite thick and bulky, so it feels like you're straining your arm when you're using it, whereas this one is really easy for treating smaller areas of the body. This is not a sponsored video, but they did give this to me for free. If you are interested in the same product, I've got the link in the description. You'll get 10% off with my code. Full disclosure, I get a small commission from that. Now we're on to the most direct part of this treatment where you're going to hit the masseter muscle, which is your chewing muscle. And that's what gets really, really tight. Now remember that most massage gun manufacturers will tell you not to use this on your head. So you're doing this at your own risk. This is strictly for informational purposes. I always use this on the most gentle setting. What you're going to do is hold your mouth gently closed and just very easily pull down. You can kind of come on an angle below your cheekbone, trying not to hit the bony parts. Now open your mouth and you're going to try the same thing. Just very gently. Thirty seconds, and then you want to switch over to the other side as well. If you want to learn about how you can use the massage gun on different body parts, check out this video here.